With pick six, the Adelaide Crows have selected Joshua Rochelle from the Murray Bush Rangers. Well done to Joshua. A big smile there. What a moment. This entertaining, high-energy small from the country. He has a classy presence, enormous potential, and Adelaide have spent a lot of time on him and discussing with him his future. Matty Nix is going to love coaching this guy. He he, he works extremely hard. As, as all do at this, um, at this top end of the top end of the draft but it's his, it's his power I think is the is the one thing that, that stands out in in his game he can, he can break away he can power to to defend and, and lay strong tackles as well and the power in the air I love the fact that he attacks the aerial contest with speed we talk about on the ground all the time you've got to attack the ball with speed this guy does it in the air as well and I love that about the the way he plays his foot he's a bit of an x-factor up forward oh, he's got some tricks already. he's a dual sport athlete he's a boy that played uh, soccer on the Saturday and AFL on the Sunday <laughs> up in Shepparton and for all his junior career was even offered a contract uh, with uh, Melbourne City in soccer. So, super talented. Our game's better for having him choose our game. Mm. Rap that he's coming in. He's a bit like Toby Green. He's pretty Ooh, special. A bit yeah. like Toby Green. That's sensational. What a great rap. Ah, that's exciting for Crows fans. A bit like Toby Green, David King. Yeah, spot on, Shifter. And what he, what he does bring is a healthy footy arrogance, and I love that. I think that the Adelaide <laughs> Crows are going to love what they see because this guy backs himself to hit targets. He, look at that. He's 180 centimetres, but he gets big at the footy. So he's a contested marking type player. Cody Waitman type player for the Western Bulldogs. Imagine having this guy as a pseudo centre-half forward type. That's what, he, that's what he can do. His body work is really clever for his size at this stage to understand what needs to happen time and time again. This is what we talk about with the tricks. Take a bounce. Got a player mm. right behind him. Takes another bounce and then converts the goal. So this is what you want. You're recruiting a lot of spunk when you get this guy. You get the ultimate finisher. Oh, I think this is a great selection. You know, this is going to bring a lot of pizzazz to the Adelaide Crows uh, football club, particularly in their in their forward 50. But think Toby Green. Think Cody Waitman. That's what they've got tonight, Sarah. A great highlights reel for mm. the Adelaide Crows. I'm sure fans watching tonight will be super excited by that. Uh, Tom Morris, you've got him with you. I do, Josh. You're getting compared to Toby Green. How does that sit with you? Um, yeah, so I've actually been told uh, not to not to compare myself to him today, but um, <laughs> if I'd say one player, I'd definitely say Toby. That's fantastic. Now, you had a choice between soccer and footy. We're glad to see that you've gone with with footy. What, what was behind that decision? Um, I think at the end of the day, I was uh, very passionate um, in football. I loved playing both sports, but when it comes to making a, a decision, I think I was always going to go down the football pathway. Now, tell us about the impact the Shepherd and Swans have had on your development as a football and as a person. Yeah, Shepherd and Swans has been massive for me. Um, growing up there, watching my, my father and my uncles and, and my cousins go through the ranks, it's, uh, they've, they've helped me along the journey and it's been very good. What are you looking forward to most about joining the Crows? Um, I think I'm just yeah, really excited to, to go in day one, earn the respect to my teammates and, and yeah, just get stuck into things. Kicking a few goals as well? That's exactly right. I love a goal here and there. <laughs> and a few celebrations too? Yeah, I won't, don't do anything too strenuous, just keep it too basic. Nicely done. Well done, Josh. Thanks very much. He jokes there about the celebrations. My understanding is he knows how to do the, like, round-off backflip. Oh, really? Yeah. Might okay, maybe grand final day one, <laughs> one year. Well. Might that's for the soccer there. background, of yes. course. <laughs> you know, it just might be something a bit more subtle now with the AFL. You look there at the, at the scout pro profile and, look, you'd expect that the how elite he is in uh, in most areas of, of the game, the disposals, of course. The marking inside forward 50 is, uh, is the highlight for me. So it's not necessarily a player that will get 30 or 40 possessions, but it's the impact with whatever yep. ball you do. He can yeah. get 20 to 25, yeah. kick a couple of goals, set three or four up. Like He'll, he'll become that type of... That's why we compare to Toby Green, because he can do all that and pinch it if, in the midfield if needed.